I was like, Charizard! What's going on guys? Eric coming back at you from the Nerd Cave and in today's episode we're going to be going to the Daytona Beach Toy and Comic Convention. Pretty excited to be going there. Gonna bring some pretty awesome stuff to trade. We've been really super focused on uh, trying to make some great trades right now to get out inventory that may be stale or sitting on eBay or may result in a lot of fees. So... I've been trying to swap some things out or stuff that I don't have listed, but this is the stuff that we're going to be bringing for trade bait. A complete Scarecrow, a complete King Randor, a near, well, some of his accessories. I guess I wouldn't really say near complete. No Scepter, uh, no Cape. No Buzzsaw Hordak. The variant Hordak, his chest actually opens. He has a little Buzzsaw inside. We have General Spygrax uh, with his mouth. It's like a hand puppet that he rides on. It's pretty awesome, actually. Battle Evil Spydrax and Spider Flyer. You control every move. Original Department of Transportation. Uh, crash Test Dummies. And then a Return of the Jedi. Vintage Han Solo Blaster. So that's the stuff I'm bringing to potentially trade if I can find anything that is ultimately worth it. I am expecting the total value on that stuff to be about $1,500. As always, we're looking for about 70 to 80% in trade. I'm going to be packing that stuff up, and the next time I see you, we're going to be over at the convention. What's so. going on, guys? Coming back at you. We are all dressed up in our Nerd Cave outfits, and we are down at the... Daytona Beach toy and comic book convention. So hopefully we're gonna find some stuff. The convention opens in like 10 minutes. Uh, so what are you looking for today? Always looking for a Little Mermaid, Disney Princess, Pocahontas, uh, vintage stuff. Yep. I'm looking for creepy, weird 80s and 90s stuff. We'll see you guys in there. All right, I think we finally found the building that the toy show is in. Already a ton of people showing up. We're still waiting for Tina to repark the car and then we can head inside, hopefully, find some cool toys, not miss out on stuff by not being in the doors when the convention opens. Boom. Hey, Brenda. Hola. Hi. Hi, two? Yes. Hi, Brenda. Hi, guys. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? I never remember to leave my sunglasses in the car. Oh, the inside out cup. <laughs> yeah, running around. Well, I was here Thursday. I set up all the tables, chairs, the tapes, and stuff yeah. like that. I got you doing everything. Then I was here yesterday doing more setup. Then I was here early this morning doing setup. Yeah, that's crazy. Plus, Pokemon release this week. Yeah. Magic release this week. Yeah. So. Looks good, though. No. Yeah, it was pretty nice last night. Yeah, it looks good. Good luck. I won't make you take it out because it's a whole thing, but do you know round about how much your Mighty Max mountain is? It's like it's really wedged in I, there. It's not. I, I can... <laughs> 20. 20? 20. Yeah. I can do 15 though. I've had it for a while. 15. It doesn't have any of them. It's just the mountain. It is pretty cool. 25 on... And then half so off on... it would be uh, 32 together if you want to do that. Yeah, sure. Avalanche. $32. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. I appreciate your work on me. Yeah, no problem. I was trying to find something I, I had to have because she really wanted the mug. I'm like, all right, so <laughs> we got to work out the deal now. Like, 
Yeah. Have anything good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and she's really pretty too, but... Coco. For my kids, for the grieving kids. And sadness. It's pretty good. Yep. I'm thinking about her. Those, that would be Bogo. Coco. And this is cool too. She reminds me of like, <clears throat> what keychains used to look like when I was a kid. Right. That kind of hard plastic with that in the middle. But I think this would be like Bogo, so that's not bad, right? Should I try to wheel and deal? What should I do? Or 10 each. You do it for me, thanks. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What's going on here? What's going on, man? How you doing? Good not a whole lot. You found a Mighty Max. Oh my goodness gracious, that thing um, is ginormous. Isn't that excellent? Love it. Wow. It's pretty easy. Everything's buy one, go one, half off here. It's 20 bucks. Oh, this is the kind yeah. of shop I'm looking for. Yeah. <laughs> He's got some cool stuff. You got to dig a little bit, but there's some neat things. She originally found a mug, and I'm like, all right, well, if I'm buying a $25 mug, we got to find something to do the buy one yeah, and get one. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. And, um, oh, you found some more? She found three $10 things. Okay. Would you do 20 bucks for all three in cash? Um, Since I spent some money already? Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, cool. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Awesome, man. Thank you. I have bought from you at some other conventions. I saw you at, like, Collecticon in Orlando and stuff. Oh, so. man. I love Collecticon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah. one of my favorite shows I ever did. Yeah, that show's cool, man. I was standing in my booth watching Vanilla Ice. Yeah. I was standing in my booth watching the, the Pokemon card on packings. Nice. That was way more exciting than I thought it was going to be. I, I was like, Charizard! Okay. But appreciate it, man. Fun, guys. Take it easy. Is there anything in here that's not Ninja Turtles? So this one's all turtles. It's all turtles. Okay. This is He-Man, She-Ra, Cry Kids, 80s I'm, stuff. I'm always looking for like the turtles adjacent stuff and a lot of times this is the bin it's mixed into. So I just I'm looking for like Earthworm Jim and like Bucky O'Hare, Toxic Avenger, like that kind of stuff. Um, so all the random stuff's in this bin and also okay. that bin. I used to have some but of each of those things, but okay. I can't tell you. Maybe. For sure still here. Maybe this one. No, it's like, these are the random two. Fair enough. Well, I appreciate you giving me some direction. I would have started here, so. I didn't see a price on it. Five bucks. Five bucks? Okay. Thank you so much. The so first building was pretty comic book heavy. We're going over to what I think is the smaller building. And let's see if we can find more toys. Thank you, sir. on here somewhere? Yeah, they're all buried. How much is your Goomba? Uh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to drop. Oh, no, that's all right. He's definitely cool. That's so random. Hey, kids. I'm here to tell you about two extremely famous plumbers. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario from the Super Mario Bros. movie. You want to know? Because they triumph over the evil Koopa. He's 60. 60? Yeah. Hey, look around a little bit more. Can I come in here? Yeah, no, okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. Let's see if there's something else I can bundle up with him. I may be interested in a couple other things in here. Do you have any interest in doing a trade at all? Uh, depends. What do you got? I have good stuff. And based on the stuff that you sell, I think you'll agree. I have a complete one in here too, and a complete scare glow. Like US Department of Transportation crash test dummies and stuff like that. Curious about this guy and then the, the battle beasts that are in here. Go 
Goal 84. That is complete with the wings and stuff and the flappy action. He's got his guns and his holster and all that kind of stuff. And how much do you want for Scareglow? Um, so the Scareglow I have is complete. I had 365 on it, um, but I'm willing to, to work a, work and something out. Or, that's complete how are you? Um, I'd have to look. I think I had 250 on it. Be like 155. This would be like 215. Yeah. I'm sure you saw this guy. This is not just a Hordak. This is the Buzzsaw Hordak. With the Buzzsaw inside. And then is there anything else that you're looking at over here? Or is that it? Or? I think it was really primarily that stuff. I'm always looking for vintage stuff. I was curious what you had on the Mosquito, but I'm not going to lie to you. It'd be just so I could sell it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I have him at 100. At 100? And yeah. he's got the gun? He's got the gun, yeah. Do you, does, the, does he pump? He pumps, yes. He pumps? 100's not terrible. And did you know what you had on this guy? I think he's 35. 35? Yeah, I had him at 38, 35. Okay. I didn't get around to, let's see, Skeletor is 40. 40. To do these two at 125 trade, that would put us at like 340. And I think we'd be like 20 bucks apart on the scare blow at that point, in my favor. And I can grab it if you want to look at it. I honestly think you could get, if you wait for the right person, I think you could get north of four, but I think 360 is more realistic on it. In the condition, its bands are tight, it stands nice, the glow works. So we're like 20 bucks apart. I know you said you had 45 on him. What about I give you 10 bucks and we do these three and then it will at least be in your favor. That's just like an extra $10 off that guy, essentially. Is that fair? Yeah, what the heck. All right, I'll do that. I got something you're gonna want. Well, I was like, are you getting all this to come after me with? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. I didn't bring my, my pet monster with me, but you know. That's fine. I'll set them aside for you. <laughs> Crap. Bunch Did, didn't I bring you some of these? Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> that one's coming home with me. We did this. He wanted the scare glow, so. Oh, well. We went that well, route. Right. He actually drew me in with this guy. So that's what got oh, me yeah, in the booth. Why would you want that? I'm like, I have yeah. to have this Goomba. The rabbit so. is a video game collector. Yeah. Needs, uh, like I need one this. of the worst movies that's ever been made. I had no idea this existed. <laughs> uh, cool. Uh -oh. oh, nice. Web store. Oh, yeah. Tangled on there. And, and put the gun. Gee whiz. Thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you. But I hope you make out good with the scare glow, man. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate. Yeah, I appreciate the trade. Oh yeah, no, no problem. I'm always up for trading. Yeah. And I think when people aren't like, oh, I have a box of $5 Funko Pops, you're like, okay, like we could do something here, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Okay. How much are Five each. Five each. Is it a Kiwi Funch box? Does that have the thermos? Yes, they all do. How much was that? I was asking 30. 30? It's all PB all day! Yeah! It's pretty valuable. And I think Dragster is decent. But I think he's like in the 35 right I now. feel like not having the ripcord hurts it though, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Yeah. I don't know if I need another one though. <laughs> don't, don't you though? Oh uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> don't you always? There's never too many. That one's pretty good. It's Earthworm Jim. That's right. It's Earthworm Jim blasting his arch enemy Psychro. Uh oh, when Peter Puppy gets mad, his rage has transformed him into monstrous Peter Puppy, uncontrollably smashing the nearest thing, which happens to be Psycho. Actually, I offered him five each, so. Five each? I could. Which one did you need? Did you need Dick himself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, if you want one, take your pick. 
I'm gonna sell it, so I don't care. Cool. We got it on the toothbrush. Five each. Five. So you got 15. Is there anything that's not $5 so I can stop asking? Yeah, I've heard about these. Thank you, sir. Sure. I can actually. I guess I'll need space for the lunchbox anyway. Pretty awesome Pee Wee lunchbox. This is undoubtedly the better haul in terms of what's in here. Yeah. The other one was like all comic books. Yeah, probably right. The pile sales are awesome. If you want to, if anything, I feel bad that it's in like other people's way right no now. Worries, man. So I'm sure people are trying to look. So, ready? I'm curious about some of these games as well. Talk to me. Um, so I'm curious about kind of all of those, and then I don't know exactly what I had in the pile there. All right, let's see what we're doing. That's like, we got 30, 40, 40, 40, 50, 40, 60, 70, 80, 80, 80 or 85. And 175, that's 260. You want? What out of here exactly? <laughs> Everything. So, so I'm curious. So right now with this, and if I got these games, it would be sticker price 260 total. Okay. If I bought all of these and all of those, would you do 200 in cash? I can't go that way. Meet me in the middle. I'll meet you in the middle, 230. 230. I got the rest of today and all tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. So you're kind of wiping me out early. For sure. Let me see if I can work it a different way. Because there's a couple games I don't want in there. So I was thinking if I just bundle them all in, I might be able to be a little more aggressive. But these three and this would be 195 sticker. Would you do 180 cash? Yeah. All right. Oh, thanks. That was fun. We definitely had a good time. YouTube. Bought a bunch of crap. YouTubers now. Oh, yeah. Huh? Bought a bunch of stuff? Yeah. 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 I only have the friends. There's all six of them. I'd meet you halfway. I'd do 225. Let me see if I have that on. All right. Cool. This wasn't my plan. It was a thank you. Appreciate it. I was just telling he asked me about it, and I said, yeah, the guy was here earlier. I haven't seen another one the whole time I've been here. And now, because of me, you have the only scare glow here. So, unless you sold it. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to run out of my car. Um, okay, no worries. I'm going to dig around this guy's booth for a minute, so if you want to yeah, run out, run back, me, I'll hang out for a second. Yeah, if you'll be here, give me like 10, 15 minutes to yeah. park out there, and I'll come right back. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No Good looking out. <laughs> I'm sure that guy appreciates it too. Oh yeah, I mean I hope that someone would do the same thing for me for For sure. Uh, that one had 70 on it. 70. There's two, let me get you 25. Cool, appreciate it. Um, you wouldn't by chance have a uh, sorceress floating around, would you? I don't. I sold my sorceress. The last couple cool ones I have, I have like a Buzzsaw Hordak uh, that's complete. I have a Tyrantosaurus in stock right now with the wheel that goes inside of it. Uh, it's like, it's from the dinosaurs line Ooh, that they did yeah, for Mochi, yeah. it's the T-Rex. How much are you asking for that? I have 300 on it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's... It is, yeah. That's about right. With the Given that it's got the wheel and stuff, it's a not one you see every day as evidenced by your reaction to... Yeah. Wait, which one? I found, the, uh, <laughs> I found the wheel, but I don't have the yeah. dinosaur. This is me. I'm Eric, by the way. Oh, Jason. Jason. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Likewise. Um, Pee Wee's Playhouse. So I have $125 worth of figures there. Okay. I'm curious if I got this and this. I know you had 70 on each of them. 
Uh, what'd you do? So it's 125. Uh, what'd you do? 235, so I'd be like 15 off each. I'll pay in cash. And that's just sticker price on all those. So go through it again. What, what was so it? this this right here was 125 for these four. Okay. And then you said 70 and 70, so that'd be 140. Yeah. Uh, so I was just asking for 55 each on those guys, so 110, and then I'll just pay the sticker price on these. I'll pay in cash. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So 235. I just got 225, so I have yeah. that in my pocket. Be 235. Right. But I, I appreciate the deal, man. No problem. Thank you. I'm glad I can help you get the other things yeah. done too. Yes, sir. Yeah, that worked out. He spent some money with me, and then I gave it all to you. So <laughs> everybody won. Like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I and we are back from the convention today. It's an excellent event, had a great time over there. Uh, they always put on a great event, the Daytona Beach Comic Convention, the Deland Comic Convention, they're all put on by the same guy. Excellent convention, managed to pick up some great stuff, do some awesome trades. As you saw, I did bring some pretty high-end toys to trade with me, and I did manage to trade both my Scareglow, and I kind of trade sold my King Randor. I sold it at a booth and then spent all of that money at that booth. Let's see what I ended up with. The first trade for Scareglow, we did get all of these Battle Beasts. These are surprisingly rare. You really don't see these a whole lot at all. And then we did get some complete Masters of the Universe figures. These are original Masters of the Universe figures. They carry a good value. And we got something that was uh, for my own collection that I've just never seen before. And it's what attracted me to the booth. We did pick up this uh, Super Mario Bros. Goomba figure. Super happy to have that. Never really seen one of those. And then at the next booth over, we were able to pick up a King Hiss and a Faker with some accessories. Both of those are pretty good ones to keep on the lookout for, especially if they do have some accessories. The thing that really put it over for this King Hiss for me is it does have its front and back plate. If you don't know this King Hiss figure, you actually remove those plates. He's like a weird snake guy inside. Picked up this Pee Wee's Playhouse lunchbox. You guys know you gotta have the thermos. This Mighty Max Tower bundled that guy in with something for the wife. And then in the King Hiss uh, pickup and the pickup with these guys. Also got this toothbrush. Uh, just seemed weird. And Dick Tracy. And then at another booth, picked up some figures for the personal collection. I uh, got a Captain Planet finally. Got this cool uh, Beetlejuice figure. This one's pretty neat. He like put his arms up. And then we got another Toxic Avenger figure that we do have a duplicate of. And then we did get Penguin. And then when we went back to his booth, like I mentioned, he did have somebody who wanted to buy the King Randor figure from us. So we sold King Randor to the booth, or we sold King Randor to that person, and then went back in, <laughs> bought a bunch more stuff at the booth. Uh, so the other things we did come away with were the superheroes. Uh, Robin, unpunched, which is always cool to see. I don't know if that occurred to that person. It does have some holes in the top, like somebody drilled holes in it, which isn't great, but I've actually sold this figure loose previously for about 30 bucks. So for 15 bucks, definitely a solid deal. I grabbed two quick change Batmans. Uh, one was 30 and one was 50. Depends on the different set. This set is less desirable. Also that box is in better condition. And then this one is another figure I've sold before. I sold this guy just recently for about a hundred bucks. So to grab that for 70, and I bundled in uh, this Street Fighter set and kind of was able to work a bundle deal to get a little bit off of each of these and make my money from Randor work for me. Also grab this white hot T1000. Definitely got some pretty cool stuff at that booth a little last minute before we left the convention. And then one last pickup. I went over to a booth and saw these Beatles figures. Uh, these guys are McFarlane Yellow Submarine Beatles. It's probably the best set to keep an eye out for. Uh, these figures do surprisingly well. These are in really poor condition. I'll probably end up opening all of them. I already opened this one because I did already plan on selling the Blue Mini by itself. But they hit these on clearance for 10 bucks a figure. But this Blue Mini alone, I've sold uh, by itself for about 30 bucks in the past. So that should pay for everything. And then everything else is gravy. And then I was able to bundle in some games with him. I did pick up a while ago, if you've been tuned into the channel for a bit, a Mario Kart box and manual for like 10 bucks. Uh, so I did pay up a little bit for Mario Kart to get a Mario Kart to put in it. Galaxy 2, Mario Party 8, 
and a Fear 3. Don't sleep on those Xbox 360 games. They can have some pretty solid value. But that is all the pickups from today's convention. Again, we had a great time. Stay tuned next time to see more awesome nerdy pickups like this. And keep up with us for more giveaways. Comment below if there's anything you feel like you love and you can't live without. Check us out on eBay if you want to buy anything. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And when you see those toys and video games off in the distance, it is not a mirage. You guys have a great day.